Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stephanie's Lairlin. I'm Stephanie and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a list of eight books that are the best romance books I've read as a newbie or a beginner romance reader. I have read romance books in the past, but most of them have been like YA and not really great ones objectively. Like I said, I've eight books to talk about and this year with me reading more, I've also delved into different types of genres, romance being one of them. Usually where I get my romance in books is fantasy because I really like fantasy romance or a lot of the romance aspects in fantasy books. Even though I haven't read a huge amount of romance books, these ones have been top tier, my favourite. Um, yeah, so let's First, just get on it. the list we have It's The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. This book was really big on TikTok. The Love Hypothesis is about, it's like a grumpy sunshine type book. I'm sure if you're on Book Talk, you know what it is. It's set in a lab with two scientists and they kind of have this fake dating trope thing. The man is like the grumpy one and the girl is the sunshine and it's just so fun. And I was smiling throughout the whole thing, I was laughing throughout the whole thing and, it, and the romance is adorable. I just love it so much. Our main character, I honestly have forgotten her name, but our main character is working really hard to get her like PhD or something in bioscience, I think. Then the male love interest is like this big kind of like lab scientist that is kind of a mentor to other students. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it, to be honest. <laughs> I should have like refreshed my brain in these books before this video. But anyway, you know me, I'm just chaotic. But yeah, I gave that book five stars. It was just amazing. Just all the vibes, like it was so good and it was the perfect length and it was executed really well, I think. And there was also really important topics that got brought up. And then of course, like it just has all the best tropes you want in a romance book. It was amazing. Then the next book I have to talk about is one I've already mentioned before. <laughs> and I love this book with my whole soul. So I'm not gonna talk about it too much because you might have seen in my other videos when I have spoken about it. But it's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So I don't know if it's even like marketed as a romance, but basically our main character, Evelyn Hugo, is recounting her life and telling her life story. She's this big celebrity and she's telling her life story to a journalist. And this entire book is just about love and all the different types of love there is and settling for different types of love and how relationships whether that be platonic or romantic impact your life and your decisions and your morals as you can see i tabbed it up i love this book with my whole soul again five stars most of these books are five stars i'm pretty sure the writing in this absolutely stunning like it's phenomenal the next book i'm going to talk about is the book that actually inspired this video it's a book that a lot of people know of and a lot of people I'm sure have read and it's quite big here on booktube and I think it was one of the first romances I kind of picked up like strictly romances I don't even have words to talk about the book I'm talking about is From Lukov with Love by Mariana Zapata I have another Mariana Zapata book to talk about because we just know she is the queen of slow burn this book is like 600 pages long like most of her books and again like most of her books is incredibly slow burn which just makes it even better at the end even better this book again i literally can't remember the names except for like lukov which i'm just stupid like lukov obviously is your man's name a love story between two figure skaters who are kind of rivals and basically despise each other so it's a little bit of an enemies to lovers moment a tame enemies to lovers these two figure skaters end up having to work together and skate in pairs together for a competition or whatever. Oh, there's just so much in this book that I love. The humor, top tier. The different discussions that are had during this book, again, is like so incredibly done and incredibly dealt with. And throughout the whole thing, I was just having so much fun. And again, for like a 600 page book, I literally ate it up. I ate it up. I read it in like two days. Oh, it's just phenomenal. The two of them together is literally a match made in heaven. And the figure skating aspect of it as well just like made it go up a notch because I just love reading and watching about figure skating because it's just really cool and interesting and like I want to be them, you know? 
and it was actually explained in a lot of not a lot of detail but like in enough detail for me to like recognize words by the end of the book and feel like I had a certain amount of knowledge about figure skating so it was great and again five stars I'm not even going to say the ratings for the rest of these because I'm pretty sure they're all five stars so and then the next book kind of to lead on from that one is another Mariana's Pata book it's The Wall of Winnipeg and Me this one I didn't love as much as From Lukov with Love it was up there like I almost loved it as much this one I don't know if I've said but Mariana's Pata along with her books being really slow burn they're a lot of them are centered on sports romances so this one follows a I think he's like a football player he's like a really famous like American football player that could be wrong I don't really know but it's a sport <laughs> and our female love interest is his assistant that's how it starts off and basically in this book again there's loads of tropes there's the grumpy sunshine again there's I wouldn't say like rivals to lovers but like there's tension with them at the start not really really liking each other and then start to like each other and then there's also a big one which is marriage of convenience and it's just done so well I haven't read a marriage of convenience book before I read that I have read more since then and that one just is the best one I've ever read up until this point it's just executed so well and it feels really natural yeah the grumpy sunshine part is just done so well again love that book love my Anna's pa she's a queen and I want those books so bad but they're actually so expensive like it's a joke next book is another book I've spoken about before and I'm only going to talk about it briefly because I'm sure if you've seen any of my other videos you would know what this book is and my thoughts and feelings about this book and again like it's another TikTok book I think it got big on TikTok as well and just has been a big book on booktube for a while now and that is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller like I said not going to talk about it too much but this book I was kind of humming and hawing whether to put it in this list or not because it's not strictly a romance book I don't think but then again it's a Greek mythology retelling and it's like a love retelling so I'm just gonna count it this book like I said is is a Greek mythology retelling of Achilles and Patroclus's relationship I'm not really familiar with Greek mythology or the Iliad and the only information I have right now in my brain is from this book so I could be completely in incorrect but it's kind of like a retelling as if they were in love because I'm pretty sure according to the Iliad and history that wasn't the case but like I mean the gays are always there somewhere you know this book broke me in half and I'm dying to read it again to be broken in half again it's phenomenal the writing absolutely impeccable like stunning writing executed so well you really care for these characters and you like root for them so much and then you like hate them so much at some points and you can empathize with them even when they're in the wrong and it just teaches you in my opinion a lot about people and what they really crave in their life and no matter how much they have they will still want for more. The next book I have to talk about is I think actually like one of the first romance books I ever read. I, I feel like I've said that already in this video but this is genuinely like probably one of the first romance books I read when I started getting into booktube um, and like watching booktube and stuff and seeing the popular books on booktube. So again you've probably heard of this. I'm just gonna mention it again because <laughs> I loved it so much when I read it and I had so much fun when I read it and it just really opened up the world of romance and specifically LGBTQ plus romance for me um, because I hadn't been aware that there was that kind of genre out there and, and look at me repping my Harry pride flag top <laughs> so on brand for this video but it's Red White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston I feel like I shouldn't really even talk about this because again most people have read it I assume if you're on booktube but this is a romance book that follows the prince of England and then the son of the first female president of the United States and basically it's kind of a like friendship for show that turns into a real friendship that turns into a relationship so basically the two lads end up having a little 
moment at a party and it's quite public and it looks like they're in a big fight it's like all over the media and everything and they end up having to be set up to go on these like friendship dates just for the paparazzi this is the cutest most adorable love story ever i loved it so much and there's again so many hard topics that are dealt with in this and conversations that are just so impactful and really important to be had i'm dying to read this author's newest book which is called one last stop it's a female female romance and i'm literally dying to read that i want to read it so bad but i want to get it in a physical copy so it like looks good beside it because they're both pink then the next book i have to talk about which is the second last book on this list i know i just said it for the last book that the last book was like the first romance book I ever read but I mean this book is like the very very first romance book I ever read from when I was like 14 15. This book took over my entire personality at one point. I attached myself to this book and I still do it's one of my favorite books of all time I think. Not because it's a particularly well written and good book but I just connection to it and I love it a lot and I love the characters and I just love how messy the book is, if that makes sense. The book I'm talking about is Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. And this has actually been made into an Amazon movie <laughs> that I watched recently. And Lily Reinhardt plays the main female character in it. And I think she really does her justice. And it's a really good adaptation of this book. Our two main characters, Henry and Grace. And Henry is kind of, it's your typical romance, like high school romance book with the mysterious girl and the really weird quirky boy they're both in their last year of high school i think and they're both writers and basically grace comes to this school new and she's not your typical girl she's dressed in like men's clothes that are really baggy she walks with a limp and has a cane and henry is intrigued they end up writing on the school magazine together and that's how they end up meeting and talking and everything it deals with so much and so little i do think you should check check the triggers before you read this though because there's a few things in it that might be upsetting but i just think the portrayal of a young lost broken teenager is really well done and it does so much justice to so many teenagers around the world i think and it's again a story about a first love and how much people want to put their happiness on love and try to take so much out of a relationship to keep themselves afloat the writing to me i think there's some absolutely stunning lines in this i don't even know when it was published but it's like an older type romance ya romance book so it's not perfectly written and executed it's just phenomenal in my eyes and so I had to put this on this list because it was like one of the very first romance books that I got attached to and again is one of my favorite books ever the last book on this list I wasn't sure if I was going to put this book on this list but I actually decided that it does deserve to be on it and it's kind of a romance book in a certain aspect and I again have spoken about this book before <laughs> but I'm going to mention it again and it's Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Benjamin Alares Sanez. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. I literally butcher names all the time when I try to read author names. But anyway, this book follows Aristotle and Dante who are kind of two lost boys who are weird to other people and they kind of find solace in each other and they have a friendship and that friendship ends up blossoming into something more. Again, another book that deals with a lot in so little and it has a lot of important conversations and topics that are discussed in it. It's just phenomenally executed and it has stunning writing. There's so much in this and I think everyone should read it. Like, it doesn't have these stickers for no reason. Like, it won awards. I will say though, when I read this, I didn't really appreciate the beauty of it until after I read it because while I was reading it it was quite hard for me to read and I found myself getting quite upset when I was reading it so I had to like put it down a few times but all in all it's an absolute beautiful book put together in such a way that feels so vulnerable and so thoughtful. 
I sobbed when I read this book, not even just at the end, like for the whole thing. All these books on this list, phenomenal, and you should definitely go read them. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun for me to film because I've been dying to talk about all these romance books that I've been reading that I've been loving. So obviously this is a very small list and they're books you probably have heard of before. And I haven't read many romance books, like I've said multiple times in this video. So if you have any recommendations of romance books that are similar to these or that aren't, that you think I would like, please let me know down in the comments because I definitely want to read more romance books. I'm loving it at the moment. As always, all my socials are down in the description below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next. Bye!